a Yeti travel mug, Urban Decay Cosmetics, and a phone charger. What do they all have in common? Well, they were all bought online, shipped from U.S. addresses, and yeah, they turned out to be counterfeit. We do do it to ourselves. We love a great bargain. And sometimes we just don't think that there could actually be something wrong with the product. And you know, online, you're looking at it, the, wet, the pictures look great, of course, because they've stolen them from a legitimate site. And it's hard for us to know if it's legitimate or not. Well, anything and everything can be counterfeit. Here's a list of the top seized items in 2018. You've got apparel and accessories at 18%, footwear at 14%, watches and jewelry coming in right behind, then the handbags and wallets, electronics and consumer products. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes when we're buying something, we're thinking to ourselves, well, what is the fair price for this? We don't actually know ourselves because we don't usually buy the product. Well, it's worth it to take the time to go Google the item and see what other sites are selling it for. If the price is way lower than the others, that is a warning sign. Scammers are very smart and they set up websites that look very real. They look just like the designer purses website, or maybe they look like an authorized retailer or reseller from one of these designer companies. You can check that out by actually going to the name brand companies and looking to see who their author authorized resellers are. All right, here's another trick. Google the website name and the actual word complaints. You know, if someone has been ripped off by this website, they are surely going to post something about it, right? Also, take a look here because it wouldn't hurt to look up the website with a better business bureau either. And last but not least, here I'm gonna tell you, use a credit card, not a debit card. I don't care if you use the debit card as a credit card. You need to use a real credit card because you can actually dispute the charge if needed with the credit card company.